Mosasaurus, a giant aquatic lizard that roamed most of the world's oceans. In today's video, we'll take a look at this terrifying creature and see just how it dominated the oceans for 16 million years. Enjoy. Just before we get into the video, 89.5% of viewers are not subscribed to the channel. If you enjoy my videos and find yourself coming back regularly, then please consider subscribing. It really helps to push the channel out there. Also, I'd love to get a feel for what you think about my videos. If you have any feedback or suggestions, then please leave them in the comments below. I try to respond to every single comment so you won't go unnoticed. Thank you. Mosasaurus was first discovered in 1764 in a chalk quarry near Maastricht in the Netherlands in the form of a skull, which was initially identified as a whale. This specimen, catalogued as TM7424, is now on display at the Taylor's Museum in Harlem. Later around 1780, the quarry produced a second skull that caught the attention of the physician John and Leonard Hoffman, who thought it was a crocodile. He contacted the biologist Petrus Camper, and the skull gained international attention after Camper published the study identifying it as a whale. By 1808, Camper's son, Adrian Camper, and George Cuvier concluded that the fossil belonged to a marine lizard that was related to monitor lizards, but otherwise unlike any other modern animal. The skull became part of Cuvier's first speculations about the conception of extinction, which later led to his theory of catastrophism a precursor to the theory of evolution. At the time, it was not believed that a species could go extinct, and fossils of animals were often interpreted as some form of extinct species. In 1822, James Parkinson and William Daniel Conyngbear named the genus Mosasaurus, from the Latin word Mosa and the ancient Greek saurus, meaning lizard, translating to lizard of the muse in reference to the river where the holotype specimen was discovered nearby. In 1804, the Lewis and Clark expedition discovered a now lost fossil skeleton alongside the Missouri River, which was identified as a 45 foot long fish. Richard Ellis speculated in 2003 that this may have been the earliest discovery of the second species, Motosaurus missouriensis, although competing speculations exist. In 1818, a fossil from the Monmouth County, New Jersey, became the first North American specimen to be correctly recognised as Mosasaurus by a scientist at the time. There are a minimum of 51 genera for Mosasaurus, which all individually have multiple species belonging to them. We know so much about them because their fossils are really common. In fact, I have my own Mosasaurus tooth here. The most complete specimen ever found is called Bruce, and is on display at the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre in Morden, Manitoba. Bruce measures at 43 foot in length, and the skeleton is 65-70% to 70 complete, making it one of the most complete dinosaur skeletons ever. The species Bruce belongs to is Tylosaurus pembinensis, which belongs to the genus Tylosaurus, which contains some of the largest species in the entire Mosasaur family. Mosasaurus was a type of derived Mosasaur, in the past, derived mosasaurs were depicted as akin to giant flippered sea snakes. It is now understood that they were more similar in build to other large marine vertebrates such as ichthyosaurus, marine crocodilimorphs and archaeocyte whales through convergent evolution. The type species, Mosasaurus hofimani, is one of the largest marine reptiles known, though knowledge of its skeleton remains incomplete as it is mainly known from skulls. The largest estimates for Mosasaurus's length and weight are 56 foot and 10,000 kg, making it roughly the same length as Megalodon, but significantly lighter. The features of the teeth in Mosasaurus vary across species, but unifying characteristics include a design specialised for cutting prey. Teeth were also constantly shed through a process where the replacement tooth developed within the root of the original tooth and then pushed it out of the jaw. One of the most complete Mosasaur skeletons, in terms of vertebral representation, 
SDSM45 has seven neck vertebrae, 38 dorsal vertebrae in the back, and front tail vertebrae, followed by 68 caudal vertebrae in the tail. All species of Mosasaurus have seven cervical vertebrae, but other vertebral counts vary among them. The tail structure of Mosasaurus has evidence of soft tissue for a two-lob tail. The tail vertebrae gradually shortens around the centre of the tail and lengthens behind the centre, suggesting rigidness around the tail centre and excellent flexibility behind it. Mosasaurus had relatively large eye sockets with large sclerotic rings occupying much of the socket's diameter, which is correlated with eye size and suggests it had good vision. The eye sockets were located at the size of the skull, which created a narrow field of binocular vision, just like us. Brain casts made from the fossils of Mosasaurus show that the olfactory bulb and vomera nasal organ, which both control the function of smell, are poorly developed and lack some structure in Mosasaurus huffamani. This indicates that the species had a poor sense of smell. The lack of a strong sense of smell suggests that it wasn't particularly important for Mosasaurus. Instead, other senses like vision may have been more useful. Paleontologists generally agree that Mosasaurus was likely an active predator of a variety of marine animals. Fauna likely preyed upon by the genus included bony fish, sharks, cephalopods, birds, and marine reptiles such as other mosasaurs and turtles. It is unlikely that Mosasaurus was a scavenger, as it had a poor sense of smell. Mosasaurus was among the largest marine animals of its time, and with its large, robust cutting teeth, scientists believe larger members of the genus would have been able to handle virtually any animal. Paleontologists suggest that Mosasaurus had a rather savage feeding behaviour, as demonstrated by a large tooth mark on the shell of a giant sea turtle, and fossils of re-healed fractured jaws in Mosasaurus hoffermani. The species likely hunted near the ocean surface as an ambush predator, using its large two-dimensionally adapted eyes to more effectively spot and capture prey. Currently, there is only one known example of a Mosasaurus preserved with stomach contents. A well-preserved partial skeleton of a Mosasaurus misuriensis dated about 75 million years old, with the dismembered and punctured remains of a one metre long fish in its gut. This fish was much larger than the length of the Mosasaurus skull, which measured 66 centimetres in length, confirming that Mosasaurus misuriensis consumed prey larger than its head by dismembering and consuming bits at a time. Due to coexistence with other large mosasaurs, like Prognathodon, which specialised in robust prey, Mosasaurus misuriensis likely specialised more on prey best consumed using cutting adapted teeth. There is fossil evidence that Mosasaurus engaged in aggressive and lethal combat with others of its kind. One partial skeleton of Mosasaurus bears multiple cuts, breaks and punctures on various bones, particularly in the rear portions of the skull and neck and a tooth from another Mosasaurus piercing through the quadrate bone. No injuries on the fossils show signs of healing, suggesting that the Mosasaur was killed by its attacker by a fatal blow in the skull. Likewise, a Mosasaurus misuriensis skeleton has a tooth from another Mosasaur misuriensis embedded in the lower jaw underneath the eye. In this case, there were signs of healing around the wound, implying survival after the incident. Tukuya Kanishi suggested an alternative cause of this example, being head-bitten behaviour during courtship as seen in modern lizards. Mosasaurus may have also engaged in cannibalism. Fossils of Mosasaurus have typically been found in deposits representing nearshore habitats during the Cretaceous period, with some fossils coming from deeper water deposits. Changing temperatures and an abundance in marine life were characteristic of these localities. By the end of the Cretaceous, Mosasaurus were at the height of their evolutionary radiation, and their extinction was a sudden event. During the late Maastrichtian, global sea levels dropped, draining the continents of their nutrient-rich seaways and altering circulation and nutrient patterns, and reducing the number of available habitats in Mosasaurus. The genus adapted by accessing new habitats in more open waters. The demise of the genus was likely a result of the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event, which also wiped out the non-avian dinosaurs. Fossil vertebrae from the layers were found with fractured forms after death. The layer was likely deposited as a tsunami, 
This formed through a combination of catastrophic seismic and geological disturbances, mega hurricanes, and giant tsunamis caused by the impact of the asteroid that catalyzed the KPG extinction event. As well as a physical destruction, the impact also blocked out sunlight, leading to the collapse of marine food webs. Any Mosasaurus surviving the immediate cataclysm by taking refuge in deeper waters would have died out due to starvation from prey loss. Thanks for watching today's video. If you like this sort of content and wish to see more, then please consider leaving a like and comment. See you in the next video.